<laughs> but uh, we are playing some Monster Train today, and uh, we are working on expert challenges. Um, we got the... Let's see. We got the truer champion one done last time. Oh, there's two check marks by that. What does that mean? Does that mean we got... Oh, I bet you that means we got Last Divinity. Holy crap, does that mean I have to do Last Divinity on every single one of the challenges we've already done? Well, I might have to eventually work on that. It's 7 p.m. Moscow time. Well, good evening to you, my friend. Hopefully it's after work time for you and you're home relaxing. Vaporeon is the water evolution. A Pokemon thing. Gotcha. All right. Well, let's 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 we're going to start working on some... Uh, well, there's only four more expert challenges we haven't done, but it looks like with this purple check mark, we might have a lot more stuff we need to get through. So we might be playing Monster Train for a while. Um... See, brains over brawn. Your champion isn't up for a fight, but they know plenty of card tricks. So, your champion has sap and heartless, but you don't discard, and you get extra cards. Um, which actually sounds like we would want to play a discard um, Stygian thing. Interesting. Um, we get extra copies of a card, so since we don't discard, we want to get discard synergy. Uh, I wonder if being, um, uh, whatever, whatever it is that Soul Guard is, away or whatever, gets rid of the uh, Heartless and Sap. No, I'm sure it can't be healed. Uh, well, let's see. Let's try something like this. If I want discard synergy... Um, so encanting, I almost feel like Wormkin might be good here. Um, uh, although I've been doing a lot of Wormkin lately, I kind of want to do something else. What, a, what about melting? Would there be, uh, Stygian melting? Um, I want something that is going to be spells that I can spam. Uh, what about, what about root seeds? about Stygian primary awoken secondary for this brains over brawn so basically our hero can't do anything but we get extra cards and we don't discard our hand so i'm going to try Stygian primary awoken secondary i think my favorite thing about um these challenges is coming up with cool combos to to work around the uh little bonus things they add to it what's up as if Hope I'm doing well. Challenge time? It's challenge time. It is. All right. Cleanse. Beneficial effects. We got a silence. Vine grasp and draw one, discard one. Ooh, that's a good start for, for this. All right. So this challenge is called Brains Over Brawn. Our champion is basically unhealable and does no damage. Uh, we don't discard our hand, and we get two copies of every card we draft. So this will be interesting. Free silence is very nice. It would be nicer if we were going against Seraph the Patient, but... So I don't think going with Revenge... Well, Revenge is not bad. Um, action... We don't want Revenge because we don't want our... We don't want Solgard to actually be attacked. Um, so... Free damage. This is just free damage. I think we'll go with the Dire Channel here. Yeah, every card basically has permafrost since you don't discard your hand, that's true. But I'm going, I purposefully chose this character with the Forgotten Powers to try to make a discard synergy deck go. Um, okay. So this, I, I really like rationing scales actually. Do I care about spell weaknesses, the thing? I don't know that I care about spell weakness. 50% chance for spell weakness doesn't seem that good. I'm going to do this because this can turn into gold for the uh, for the run. Ascend and Descend Dazes. Cheaper unit costs. You know, this is amazing for the Encant Sap Totem. So I'm just going to go ahead and snap pick that. This goes great with offering strats. Definitely, definitely. Um, can I do this? Do I think I could do this? Uh, I don't have that much damage, but I'm still going to do it anyway. This is using Pyre Health as a resource, I guess. Forever Flame, click it! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Freddy. 
All right, let's see how we do this. So, okay, you have 10 health. So if I'm going to just let you die, you can absorb that. I do want you to die. So if I kill one, there we go. Okay. Um, so I do want draw. Giving you extra attack is not going to do much because you're sap 10. The more we draw, the better. Okay, all right. Good. I was hoping we'd draw some unit. Can I keep you alive? Okay, good. Can I get you enough attack that you will actually uh, do attack? Not yet. <laughs> Minus 18 attack. So unfair to be sapped so much. We say as we um, wish that we had our own totem that can sap other people. So I can go ahead and silence you. I should have kept that, though, actually. Okay, I'm going to get some frostbite on you. Guess leaking units is fine unless you die. Well, yeah, I mean, basically... If we get more health every time we go back down to 50, we'll get gold, but... Since we can't heal our pyre... Now, we could try to go for, like, a pyre-killing heal build or something, which could be pretty darn nice. Uh, we want to kill you. Uh, encanting you would be good, but I think getting Frostbite on you is better. I picked, uh, yeah, Dire Channel, because since I can't heal, and you're sapped. I mean, I, I didn't want the Revenge one, because I can't be healed, so I don't know how you stay alive. Revenge, if you get attacked, just seems bad for this build, so. Damn, that was the worst discard. Alright, do we even do any damage to you? Sixty-nine, seventy-four. It doesn't matter, as long as our pyre finishes him off, it doesn't matter because we get healed back up. So, this is actually fine. This is actually fine. Kind of a weak starting combo, honestly. I felt like Dire Channel, is that the one that's action deal three damage, which would actually get me the most damage out. So, all right, discard. We need things that give us value out of discarding, um, but we get two of whatever we take. Uh, two Mollusk Mages gives us magic power. Vine Grass is the only thing that does damage. Um, This would be for discard synergy, but we don't have anything that's, uh, what is it? The one that discards does what we want. It gives us stuff, so we're looking for um, cards that when they get discarded does stuff for us. Um, ah, the magic power units seem decent. Well, I'm going to take this just because it's discard. More draw seems really good. Heal wouldn't work on our main carry. Let's go with just straight up draw here. Since we're going to have so much draw and not discard, we're probably going to need to take Ember. I'm guessing. Alright, so do we look for a Stygian unit for Encant Synergy, or do we look for a Woken for like a big carry unit? Uh, next floor is going to be Awoken. If I go to Awoken... Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. I don't really have any heals for some of the, uh, you know, rejuvenation guys. I kind of just want to go for Stygian looking for encant, strong encant units, but that does mean we're not going to Merchant of Steel here. So let's go for that. Okay, minus cost. What do we got here? Neither are neither are encant units, but they're both sweep units. Interesting. Interesting. Um, probably Cold Celia's better because we're not really playing around spell weakness when we're not. I just don't have any high damaging spells. Two Titan's Gratitude is a little bit, but I think I we're gonna get two of these. So if I actually put Cold Celia inside of Cold Celia, she will have apply six frostbite to the attacked unit. If we get like multi strike, that's like twelve frostbite. I feel like that's something we could play around for sure. Do right, you want to remove consume on anything? Cold Celiaception, you know it. All right, minus one cost. I think I want to go with this. Although, I want to be able to play this even when I have no Ember, I feel like. Actually, the zero-cost Root Seeds can be insane, right? That's the thing. Zero-cost Root Seeds just become free buffs and encants every turn. So we should work towards the zero-cost Root Seeds, I think. Um, consuming one of these guys to make it really high damage is probably not bad. Let's go with that. And then I could remove the Consume. But then it costs two for 125. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. Next floor is going to be this. Unless I want to go Merchant of Steel. They had an amazing FTL run with Lanius A. You got double Glade Beam in the first sector. You got Wrecked in Phase 3. Yikes. I mean, we could roll just to get the our, all of our Root Seeds free early. You know what? I think I do want to do that. My root seeds, I want them just all to be free, so I can always just play them all. Want some damage on these guys. Alright, fine. Just spend all of our gold. Hopefully we'll get a lot of gold with rationing scales. We'll get a lot of healing, that's for sure. Armor 10 for a unit draft. I mean, if we can get the uh, encant um, totem. That would be pretty awesome. Okay. That is a lot of freaking damage right there. Um, you live with one health. With only one, though. Let's go off there. You'll die just from the spikes. go. You still die from the spikes, man. These enchanting spikes with armor is wrecking me. Ouch. Um, Frozen's not going to do anything there. Well, you're all freaking dying, so that's kind of rough. All of my units are dying from spikes. Oh my god. Alright, let's see what we draw here. Okay, is there any way I can make you not die? 9 times 2. The one damage on you is killing her. 
Oh my gosh. All of my units are just dying. That does nothing. Okay. Bad draw, rip run. <sighs> I'm not sure if it's rip yet, but it's looking pretty pretty bad for sure. She doesn't do that much damage, so again, my Pyre might be able to just kill her if we get enough Frostbite on her. The damage on the Pyre is not super important, honestly. And I could do 125 damage to her, so, you know. I want to draw one extra next turn. Actually, I don't discard these cards, so I guess I'm going to do this. Okay. So, I think she only gets, like, one hit off. So, our pyre has killed both bosses so far. Oh man, give me something that gives me payoff from the from the discard, man. Uh, helical crystals, uh, it's expensive. Um, not really planning on a spell damage run. Should I take it? It's a good spell, but I want discard synergy, man. Just want discard synergy, and we're not getting it. Does more silence help us? I mean, it's it's a free encant, I guess. Guess I'll take it. There's scaling, there's healing that doesn't work on our um our champion. If we get a good unit. Be scaling on the cold Celia, maybe. Sh sharpen better. Four attack, four spikes. I need something. Keeps my units alive, but I think this is good. What's up, Mr. Shogi? How are you doing, sir? And can't totem. Looking for it. Okay, we got Siren of the Sea. That just encants yourself. Uh, Vine Mother is also rather good. Because of uh, just drawing lots of cards. Because we want lots of draw. But I think we take the Siren of the Sea. This time you're going to pay attention to see if you can figure out what's going on. Well, you're... Still coming in in the middle of a run, so uh, good luck. <laughs> um, all right, so my thought was to infuse a cold celia into a cold celia, so she applies six frost by the turn. I wonder if I'd rather do a siren of the sea infusion instead. I, I can only infuse one unit into one unit right now. I think it might be better to go for an encant. So do I go an encant plus three plus three? I think I do that, and I think I go Merchant of Steel, actually, to get upgrades on a unit. The, the Pyre heal is wasted, is the thing, but unit upgrades are very good. We're trying to get this Encant Girl bigger. Animus of Will go free win sometimes. Was Animus of Will offered? I thought it was Animus of Speed. Maybe there was Animus of Will and an Animus of Speed. Okay, there's multi-strike. So with multi-strike, putting cold celia inside of cold celia means lots of frostbite. That means lots of frostbite. The thing is we need to keep the cold celia alive. Or or I go into multi-strike on the Siren of the Sea. Go for the encant scaling here. Encant giving us extra stats every time we play a spell, of course. Um, what if I, if I put a Siren of the Sea infused into a Cold Celia, 
That give you plus one, plus one every stat, every spell. Do I want to do that? I feel like getting lots of frostbite could actually be pretty darn good. I think I'm going to try this. And I'm going to sacrifice one cold celia into the other so that every time you attack, you're going to apply six six frostbite twice that's 12 frostbite every time this person attacked with the entire floor i believe do i want to give you also health or something i'm probably going to tank with maybe the siren of the sea I don't think any of those buffs are worth. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, pay with health? Okay, I'm going to get free healing anyway. Yes, pay with health. This is basically a free uh, a free artifact for us. As long as we don't fail until we die. Whew, I like that. Faulty Loader means the first turn of enemies is completely buggered and useless. Which is awesome, as long as we draw our Cold Celia turn one, because she can apply 12 Frostbite to that entire floor that doesn't get to attack and is dazed. Okay. Problem is, I have all these other units here too, though. So, um, let's see how we want to do this. Uh, let's see. I think I can. You can live. I think I will get two encants, which will give you plus four to uh, plus four health, which will put you at fourteen. So you'll live with one health, I believe. Live at one health. Per perfect. We are not drawing the right units here, that's for sure. I can kill you. Does that let you live? No. Can I silence you? I can actually silence you, which is great. Do we not discard our dead weights? Oh man, we don't. Okay. All right. Is there any way I can keep you people alive? Sweet seven. Uh, that looks like a nope. That looks like a nope. Uh, I can can't you? Can I can't you enough? Okay, I can can't you enough to keep you alive. Uh, even if I got all three of these off, you would have plus six. Just still be exact lethal. So. I do not have units that can live, man. <laughs> I do not have units that can live. I want to live. You cannot live. Okay. I think this rationing scales is the best thing I got because it's the only thing that's keeping me alive in this game right now. It kills you. Oh man, I cannot live. All of my units are dying every turn. Uh, you'll get three attacks off. You don't do that much damage, so it's kind of okay, I guess, but... This is rough. Person has a beehive over their head. Talk about ballsy. <laughs> That's because I silenced her. <laughs> yes. 
You know, it's the new fashion nowadays. It's just the new fashion. All right, you die. Do, 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 do. Do, do. She's only gonna get one attack in, it's not too bad. Play this. Not the bees, not the bees. Okay. Let's see here. What is the best thing to do? Get as much draw as possible so we can just play a bunch of spells, I think. What's up, Zoli? How's the road to reigniting hell going? Well, currently we're not able to kill anything. And I think our pyre might not be able to do enough here. Um, it's not looking great, honestly. Not looking great. Yeah, that's enough to kill him. So next turn, we're going to be able to put some frostbite on her, but... She's got 500 and something health. This is looking dead as dead can be. Uh, was there any way I could have not had my main care units die? I think I might try this again. Let me see. My frostbite girl just didn't immediately die. Let me see. How do I do this? How do I do this? If I set up Top floor, is that going to be better? And can't with my other girl, top floor. Um, problem is, every single one of my units is two capacity, so I can only play two on a floor. And none of my units are tanky. Who's my tankiest unit? It's actually her, but she's also my main carry unit. Um... You're not that important, so I think I'm gonna have you be in front to try to keep her alive, maybe. Okay. Now you live. Okay. Look at how much damage they're doing, man. It's crazy. Um, let's see. Six, you thirteen. If I do this, you don't die. Should keep you alive, I guess. If I encanted you, I don't think you would have lived. Okay, you now live. You now live? No. Okay. You love using that spell to kill enemies? What 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 spell? I almost wonder if I should save this for the boss. I think I'm I think I should. You hate slugs, you picked up some strawberries and half of them was bitten by slugs, and the worst thing is that they chew holes inside of the fruit itself. Okay. Oh, razor sharp. You, you love doing that to kill enemies. Gotcha, yeah. 
think I don't play you because I want to use you as a, another chump blocker if I can. Okay. All right, so. So if I kill you, that allows her to get a bunch of frostbite on, which is, I think, the most important thing we can do right now. Actually, uh, I was going to kill him so that I could jump block again, but I don't think that's going to do me much good. You're only going to get one attack off. If I do this, it will be more damage. The damage is really going to come from the frostbite, but... That's the best way to get more damage. Right, how much frostbite did we get on you? 19? Frostbite. These all these extra attack is not useful at all because she gets used to attack first. Well, this is looking dead. <laughs> Still dead. How come I can't get any freaking unit to live, man? My deck is just that bad, apparently. I can get some good frostbite on her, but. Okay, well, this deck is bad, apparently. Our unit choices were pretty bad, and we didn't get any payoff for the discard, so I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this same combo, I think. We just got really crappy units, and uh, no offering cards, that's what I wanted, offering cards. Man, I feel like we actually had a pretty good um, artifact start for that, too. Frozen is useless with this thing. Uh, spell upgrades could be good. I wanted the actual, the phased version of her, this one, because then sap is not as big a deal. So let's take this version. I feel like we got crappy soul guard choices too, was the other problem. At least this one can tank for us. Silence. This is temporary. Oh, randomized cost. That seems terrible. It is draw each turn. We have so many zero-cost things, this is just actively bad for us, I think. These all seem pretty bad. I guess I'll go with Silence. You started avoiding early shards this reason. You only start taking shards once you find a really good combo before ring three. The first big boss can often end runs with high shards. I mean, I guess so. I only... I feel like I... I only did two things that got us shards, but I guess they were too much. That's solely to encant him. There we go. Um, so the phased counteracts this sap heartless thing. Wow, that's pretty OP. Phase just counteracts, counteracts the Heartless, so we actually have a, a usable champion with this version of Soul Guard. Yeah, I know. Soul Guard lasts at Heartless and the Sap, apparently, which is insane to me. Only one in a three that this does, but I hope it does. 
Nice. Saves her health. Beautiful. We, we won the one and three. Which might have just saved our thing from dying there, honestly. And I have no way to kill the back line. Uh, Razor Sharp Edge would do it if we draw it. Look at all these spell weakness with literally nothing that can benefit from it. Such a good starting deck, man. Uh, oh, man. I cannot get discard synergy stuff to save my life, man. Um, flash freeze, helical crystals. I mean, this is backline damage, so I guess I just need to take that. Glimmer. Now, Glimmer is also backline damage. I will take that. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, I feel like one mistake I've been making is not getting early Merchants of Steel, although I did last time, and I guess maybe the shards are just too high. I don't know. Let's go here. We got a large stone, we got encant to armor. Okay. And I miss a speed. Ah, uh, animus of piece of crap. I mean, I could put quick into something. I guess I could take it for the infusion, for whatever our next unit is that we hope to get. It's gonna be another awoken unit. Um, getting two of them means ugh. Means I'm gonna have just one extra that I have to get rid of or something. Um, is this guy worth cultivate? What do we have for healing? It's just the glimmers that I got, right? I feel like this guy's just not good, so I guess I'll take that. I mean, do I buffer is the thing? I guess, like, oh, I feel so bad buffing an animus of speed. Because, like, she's got so little health. I guess I could put large stone on one of these, and that's my carry for a little while. Um, and then we'll put quick in another unit. Hopefully a sweep unit, and we'll have a quick sweep. I guess that could be not terrible. <laughs> so I'll do that. For now, she can carry us to victory, hopefully, and then do nothing else, I guess. Can look at this, but just not take the shards. Minus two cost on nothing. Uh, nah, not not that much does for us. That's really nice, though. That's really nice. I'm gonna do that, even though that gives us extra shards. Piercing on an AOE spell is like amazing. Spikes three, huh? Well, it kills this other Animus, but this one might not be as bad. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Both of my main units have a lot of health. Did I draw the good one? I drew the wrong one. So... Wasn't able to kill that guy. Sucks. Doesn't matter which one I do, but yeah, I want the gold. It's all about the gold, baby. I should maybe worry about my health more because yikes. Uh, okay, if I play you. 
How do you do no damage here? I don't understand. You are already taking four. You're not dying. Confused. Now you're dying. Okay. This guy gets one hit off to do three. I hit. Eight health. It's plenty. It's all. Oh, it's more than we need, right? More than we need. Do, do. Okay. Eight. Seven more health than we need, everybody. It's fine. Seven more than the required amount. Great. Okay. Just draw. Just draw and discard. That's what I'm trying to play around. I want double magic power is the question. Not really. Not really. I'm going to take this. I'm trying to draw through the deck. Wildwood Sap, Glimmer, Razor Sharp. So I already have two Razor Sharps, right? I do. Ah, do I want more Glimmers? More two damage Glimmers, not that good. We already got two of them. One of them we upgraded. I want to get Holdover on the one we upgraded, honestly. Wildwood Sap. Uh, well, you know, since we don't have the Heartless modifier, it's not terrible, but is five regen really that good I almost feel like my i don't know what my combo of this deck is supposed to do i think i'm gonna skip that okay so i need to get i was thinking of something i needed to get on her what was it we already have quick so multi on her would be good It's oh, quick. It's like quick when you already have quick. Uh, what's your essence? Summon, add three sting spells to your hand. Oh man, I was hoping for an animus of will or either of the sweep units. Do I have a, any other chance for a unit after this floor? I have a, a Stygian banner here, so... Jeez, do I care about these? I mean, putting quick on either of these is useless. Uh, you think we all will zap is good pre-DLC? It might have been worth here, but we're just we're not doing anything that we get any synergy with it because I'm not planning on doing any cultivate units. There's lots of encants. Is that good for us? Are more encants going to be useful? I'm going to take that, I guess. And I'm going to roll to try to find multi strike. Great. Okay. We have one big unit, one big carry. That's what we're trying to play around. So at least we got that going this time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, Dante. There's somebody we can play around if we can actually, you know. I, I have quick for him. I have quick for him if we can survive. It's a pretty big if. Is there anything worth putting intrinsic on? Intrinsic here and then holdover would be amazing. Spell chain, but I'm not sure if I want the shards on it. Not sure. I I, sh I feel like if I want to live, I need to not get any more shards. Did I pick these specific clan choices for a reason? You're feeling the double card drafting would be better with something like MR that can handle extra units for harvest. Yes, I chose this because with not discarding and getting extra copies of cards, I thought. Stygian discard with a allied with awoken card draw would be a good combo. I guess maybe what I didn't consider was there no damage in this combo. So, yeah, it might be a bad combo. It might be a bad combo for sure.
I can just choose this. And that one can't. Beautiful. So your quick lets you go before his thing goes off. Perfect. I feel like I'm starting to, it's starting to finally like show what this deck can do with all the crazy amount of draw. So I don't need to encant you anymore, right? You're already out. Are you still phased? You're not still phased, I don't think. Oh, that's what I was hoping it would do, discard that. Blights don't discard, which can be a major ouch. Well, that's why I went with a discard build, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to discard things. I'm hoping the... Uh Discard synergy will do stuff for us. Ten damage. Sure. Uh, Daedalus bombs that have been silenced are funny things. They can't explode and they can't descend. They just stay there doing nothing like the losers they are. <laughs> Rude. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. What losers? God, you're such losers. You can't do anything. You're such losers. Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, Ancient Synergy is a high cost spell. We can't really play Pyre Brand, Pyre Brown, Pyre Bound, Spike of the Stygian. Um, we're pretty much gonna be spending all of our Ember every turn, I think, because of all the draw we have. So I feel like none of this is. Honestly, that good. We want low-cost cards that have a lot of value. Is this any good? Days 3 is not bad. I guess this can be really good against uh, uh, Last Divinity, right? If we get Holdover. Because we just play this on the top floor and never attacks. So I guess that's something. Can be bad against other units is the thing. Ancient Synergy would be fueled well. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It's just so expensive, and there's two of them. How do I, how do I play this consistently without sp spending a whole bunch of gold to making them cheaper? I guess I'm taking Ember as my thing, right? I'm kind of thinking I want to take Capacity so I can play this and the uh, Dante we're going to get. Unless I'm going to be playing... I guess I could play her on a different floor. Cheapen one, discard the other, then dupe the first one if needed. I guess so. Can't for draw. Siren of the Sea. Um. So, the question is, what are we going to put on Dante? We're probably putting... Animus of Speed into Dante, right? So, if we're putting Quick on Dante and trying to get, like, a large stone or something on him, I don't know that I want any of these. 
Are we going a lot of spells? The plan was uh, originally yes. Now I'm not as sure because we haven't found a uh, sap totem. I feel like this is less of an can't build and more of a we're trying to build up either our animus of speed or the Dante that we're going to get. So I think I'm going to skip this. Okay. So I think it's Ember or Capacity here. I think it's Ember. With how much we're drawing, I think we just need to be able to play more stuff. I'm going to go Ember here. Okay. Man, I kind of need that healing, but... Uh, well, is there a unit I'm looking for? I am looking for a holdover on this really good glimmer here. You vote for Ember. Our draw is not used fully if we can't empty our hand. I agree. I think we do still need removal here. A permafrost with a discard hand is not super good. Um, oh, we get rid of train stewards, I guess, or we get rid of one of these ancient syner synergies. Um, start with these guys. Look at mine's cost us this because I'm hoping for this to be a holdover spell. Is this what I want for holdover, or would Razor Sharp Edge be a better holdover for scaling? Well, for Dante, Razor Sharp Edge is insane. So maybe I actually make this free. Go for holdover. Permafrost on Guardian's Amulet. That's actually not bad, too, since we're trying to get discard on it. Uh, although, no, we don't need Permafrost, actually. Permafrost is useless when we have, um... Cards are not discarded at the end of turn. For this challenge, you might not be able to see that, but... Cards are not discarded in this challenge, so it's actually not useful here. Um... For holdover. No holdover. Okay. Consume one of these guys, maybe? Hmm. Do that, I guess. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what's in, in the box. Camp for rage and a camp for armor. Um. I don't think I want to do this. My plan on carrying is Animus of Speed and Dante with Quick inside of him. Is it going to give us two Dantes each time I draft a card? That's not a draft, so I don't think it's going to. I'm going to skip that. All right, Frostbite every time you're attacked. Actually not bad with this here. Actually, not bad at all. Um, and I am kind of using her for a tank for others. So, basically, she becomes a better shark. Let's go with that. Now, this puts me at 40 shards. I think I can do that. Magic power. We don't have any spikes. Faulty loader. I like these two. Magic power. We have one, two, three, four... Five, six. And then the stings that benefit from that. So this is not bad, honestly. I like Faulty Loader for setup, though. I think I'm going to take that. Restore all health. This one often kills me. I do have some pretty chonky units. Are they chonky enough to be able to do all this? Ninety health and can't for armor. Uh, 
Yeah, every single card has permafrost in this. Although I have discard too, so. Um, it's the big. I wish you would show me the guys with the high health, because I don't know how much, how much health the biggest health guys are gonna have. Because if it's 190 guys, I don't think I can do this. But if it's just the 90 guys, I might be able to. But I just don't think I can go for it. That's probably the number one thing that kills me is that one right there. Have you die? Always refuse. It's easy. I always want it though, so. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to kill you, am I? Didn't get any of my backline cards, man. Draw my backline spells now. Yeah, there it is. That's gonna do 44 to you now with spell weakness. Now you die. I don't have any way to kill you though. So I'm going to take nine, which sucks. Uh, actually, you have Encant Frostbite, right? But you're not getting attacked. You have to take a damage. So actually, me not getting attacked here is making it so I can't kill this guy. Let me see if I can draw another backline damaging spell. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Two times two. Heal. Let's kill these girls. Damn expensive spells, man. Take 30, because this girl does so much freaking damage and I can't kill you before you do it. I guess I do that. Packed infused units often gain health instead of, or in addition to armor, heaven seal challenges become even more lethal post DLC. Okay, you now die. Do I have backline damage? No, I don't. doing here I'm doing this you guys both die you both die so let's get spell weakness on you I could kill you by doing this I feel like I'll get another way to kill you though so let me do this I did not get a way to kill you yet. A spell weakness on you. That is a lot of damage. Let's just do that damage. Okay, good. We're there, so let's just not take damage. 
And I'll even sap it because why not? All right, well, our big animus of speed is actually carrying for us right now, and we sh should get Dante now, I believe. I don't have silence yet, I don't think, right? I don't think I have that yet. We had like th four of them last run. Silence I like a lot. Focused growth, restoring retreat, and engraft. Um, let's see, an engraft for heals could be bad. Ah, bad, good. <laughs> um, Focus growth. It's expensive, but we are tanky character can accept heals since it's not heartless is focus growth good enough two cost it does draw two i don't think we get two dantes i was just talking about that as if it's it's only drafting a card that gives you a second copy i don't think you draft dante right pretty sure he just joins you and i don't think it's a draft we'll, we're about to find out um is this heal good enough? 25 health for 2 Ember. What am I trying to hold over? I'm trying to hold over the zero cost Razor Sharp Edge. Heals every turn for an Encant. Honestly seems pretty good. If I'm going to use her as a tank to get Frostbite applied, I feel like this is actually pretty decent. Take that. All right, here we go. Let's find out. If we got two Dantes, it would be crazy. Looks like it's just one. I think it's just one. Darn. <laughs> Only one Dante. All right, we want Merchant of Steels now to upgrade him because he's currently only a 310. With five multi strike. Um, main issue I have is like, where where am I gonna play him? Do I play this girl on her own floor and put Dante behind you? Capacity is a bit of an issue, honestly. Um, if I go here, I wouldn't really be able to afford any trinkets. But I would get a free artifact. I say trinkets, artifact. Uh, if I go here, I could look for holdover and heal. And possibly get a good unit upgrade. I think I'm actually going to go this side. As much as I want this, I think this is better. Both the heals and the chance for holdover. Damn, permafrost. I already have permafrost and everything. All right, so I'm going to make Dante quick. It's going to give me 65 shards. But there we go. We have two quick multi-strike units. I just need to get some actual buffs on Dante now. upgrade this because I think this oops, uh, I think this could be really good this might be what I want to hold over because then I can keep my tank soul guard alive all right let's see what's in here if I perfect thing would be tiny stone because then I could put Dante and the other girl all on the same floor it's not tiny stone damn um I'll get, I'll spend five health on a little bit of gold. The little tiny stone would be amazing. Little bit tiny stone. We just need a little bit tiny stone. We'll get Armor 15 means backline's hard to kill. I do have the one pierce card. The problem is uh, I don't have that holdover or intrinsic. So, uh, armor 15. We have a lot of damage, but I need it dies on this floor. Oh man, do we have enough damage is the question. 
We don't have holdover on any of our scaling cards yet. That means backliners don't die. I think I don't do this. Okay. Okay, well, at least we can set up our top floor. You're our main carry right now. Currently. Fun time saver for those events, by the way. Just clicking during the animation gives you the text before you see the event. Oh, okay. Cool. Do I have any way to kill you? I don't. Man, this is just a goldless, no gold gaining run, I swear. Draw two and encant her, I guess. I know, you're laughing your way all the way to the bank. Don't die, right? Good. Nice. Discarded it. I'd love to sap you in the back. Okay, good. Because we're going to take damage from you. That means we'll take less. Okay, only one attack. Not too bad. Alright, there's Dante. You all die. No, it's more important here. That's really good damage. Let's actually save you health. Let's do that and do that, yeah. Dante and his love of candles. I love candles. Yeah, it's really strong. More draw. Root seeds. Discard that. Okay. Alright, everything's dying. Okay. Um, you know what? Then, since we don't want to discard a hand, because I want to play that on the boss. Okay. Got some good units, man. That is some good damage, too. Holy crap. Okay. Don't win yet. Do some pretty good damage. We should definitely win with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and play the silences all on this floor. Or encanting. Oh, I had this. I could have done way more damage. If I do this and then don't discard the candle, we're taking extra damage. I can't do that. Can't do it. It's fine. Wait one more turn, just not take any damage. It's just better. There we go. We can do that. And then kill you with the ancient synergy. All right. Oh, we finally got some offering cards. Do we take these? Yeah, I think we do, right? These are just good. They'll, they basically have permafrost on them. Yes, 100% we take those. Don't have spikes. Um... I don't think I take extra for focus of growth. Do I take extra stings? They are extra encants. Uh, they are extra encants. Is it worth? 
We're getting free stings already. The encants are basically free frostbite for the shards, right? It's not bad, but I don't think it's really what we're playing around as much. It's not a full encant deck here. I'd love to go removal and look for holdover, but I think I actually just go for some unit upgrades. We also have a chance again for tiny stone in here, so if I get tiny stone, it'd be amazing. Okay, multi strike. Is an extra multi strike on him that good? I almost don't know if an extra multi strike is as good as just flat like health, so I can give him more buffs. I mean, one extra multi strike is never bad, of course. Maybe I just give him this in Battlestone. Or if I give him health in Battlestone, then if I get holdover on Razor Sharp Edge, that will be his scaling. Every time we play a, a attack buff on him, it's, it's just an amazing amount of stuff. I think I am going to do this. And then... That gives you 35. Yeah, I think I'm just going to give him health. Give me Tiny Stone, the little bitty, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, polka dot. Tiny Stone, this is not Tiny Stone. What is this? This is a um, consumable card, huh? Uh, is Trample in the Umbra consumable card choices? Because that would be insane. Melting remless can melt, melting remless melting remnant can give endless. I think. I'll go for this though. Okay, damage shield. It's not bad. Let's take a damage shield. Not sure if you can get trample from that event or not. I'm not gonna take that gold. All right. Do, 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 do. Monster train, monster train, does whatever monster train does. Can it fight? No, it can't. Bitch, it's train. Here comes the monster train. <laughs> what a good song, man. You're such a good songwriter, Plunder Pig. So good. Perfect draw, honestly, right there. I wonder if I should play Dante on the top floor instead. You need to encant you. Once you're encanted, I think I'm going to start buffing you. Okay. All right, you are now encanted, so. Damn, he's got encant here. He's encant for armor, 42 times two is 80. We'll be able to kill you, no problem. So I think it's fine to start buffing Dante. Silence you. Play you out and give you a damage shield. Okay. Okay. What did we draw? What are our chances of discarding this? Not very high. Do, 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 do. Nice! 
The one and three, baby. Gotta love it. Ooh, nice. The double silence on these guys. Beautiful. Okay, razor sharp edge is huge. Anybody not silenced? Nope. I should still save that. Although, probably will get discarded anyway. Okay. Nice. Okay. You need any more healing? Currently, no. Yeah, that's anxious energy that went away, sadly. Instead of this one, but it's pretty unlikely to hit the one we actually want to. Did we get any of our back line? I'm just gonna play that. It's so unlikely that we actually get it to go off there. Okay. Alright, Dante's getting pretty tanky. Or getting pretty buff here, I should say. Um. I can guarantee do a bunch of frostbite on you. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, play these out. And if we hit the sap on you, is that useful? Not really. So I just want to encant you. Okay. All right, how much damage? Does Dante do enough? It's like no, but I can spell weakness you twice. And do Ancient Synergy, which is, whew, 800 or something damage there. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow, we got, we did enough just damage from spells for Dante to finish her off. That's amazing. Healing and damage. Okay. All right. Go Dante. Um, discard my hand, draw five. I think that's good for us. I think that's good for us. Um, look expensive. Uh, is it good for us? We have so much draw. I don't know if this extra draw is worth the ember cost is actually the thing here. Is this worth... Discarding our entire hand guaranteed. That might be worth in this deck. Um, plus health, that's expensive. I only have two cards that give me the payoff of discarding. I think I'm gonna skip that. I, th I think. I don't think I want two of those. All right, draw Amber capacity. So if I were to go capacity, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I I would still be one shy of being able to actually play my three units on the same floor. So I don't think there's any way. The only way I can actually play them all on the same floor is if I get the like the jacks. They give two in the middle floor. Or if I take this and get the one that gives a random floor. I think the random floor gives plus three, doesn't it? I think I just take more ember to play more stuff. We have lots of draw. We just need more ember. All ember all the time. Man, Merchant of Steel's kind of a waste because we have our units fully upgraded. But I want to go to the Concealed Caverns. Uh, just because I'm hoping for some way to play all of my units on the same floor. 
You didn't have your headphones on when I sang your comment. You got to check the pod. <laughs> I didn't sing it that well. It was just I I started reading it. Didn't realize the song till halfway through. So not that good, sadly. Honestly, I don't know that removal does a lot for us with how many cards we have. Um, I think I am just going to go here for the event, even though this is dead. I do need to get 35 more shards is something. So this gives us 15. 15 will put us at 70. This will put us at 80. Am I actually unable to get the rest of the shards I need now? Even if I duplicate. Duplicating is 15, right? 15 puts us at 70. I mean, 80. This puts us at 90. Okay, that actually should be enough if I take this. That was pretty good as long as you get a laugh. All right. As long as, you know, that's fine. Great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Tiny stone. Give me tiny stone. This is hef stuff, right? It's got the little spell thing, the hammer. Oh, this is the capacity. Okay. Um, so plus one on a ran on each floor doesn't give us enough. That only puts us at plus six. Or at six, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if I do the manual, I just have to set up on whatever floor it sets up. And with faulty loader, I think I could do that. Ooh, this might actually let me do this. Awesome. All right. Next floor. Damn. To go to duplicate means I don't go to Merchant Magic. But I think I'm going to have to go here to actually get enough shards to fight the last divinity. Right? There's no way here. 15 puts us at 90. I have to duplicate a card that is um, basically any infused card. So. Okay, so make you the big, big, big unit, or make you do... Well, this is just actively worse, right? Because this is just health. I guess this means we need more phasing to be done, but we're playing plenty of spells that this is fine. All right. The rarity of that app, uh, really like working out. Enemies on each floor. We have enough health that I think that's just the, the health that we have is going to make this fine. We're basically, we're at the mercy of wherever this procs, where we set up. Hoping it procs on the top. Oh, it procced on the top. Perfect. All right, so the question is, what else can we set up on this floor? Because we have a capacity of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 8. So I'd only be able to place a 1 capacity unit, which is not any of these other units. So. Wow, that's a lot of... Yeah, well, you're not doing any damage this turn, so I'm just going to do that here. Can only kill you if I play this on this floor. So do I take three damage this turn in order to get a hundred gold? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I hundred percent do. Strike, huh? Do I have any way to kill you? No. All right, now we just need to proc this floor. Or proc her thing. Do have a way to kill you now. Which floor did I do it on? This one? Yeah, we'll have more turns to grab something for that, so let's go and do that. That allows us to play you here and not die. All right, I need a 
couple more things here. Start buffing you up. It's great. You're not dead yet, actually, which is kind of bad for us. So we leak you. You do a lot of damage. Uh, it's only eight, but... Ugh, not getting her out yet. Ouch. Ouch, it was painful. All right, did I get any other AoE? I did not. I just need to play two spells on your floor. You're alive. This. That kills you and gets you procced there, so that's good. Okay. D. Bum, bum. No AoE. Did not draw our AoE. Okay. I don't care about keeping this floor alive anymore, so now it's just about doing stuff on this floor. Time to do some stuff. Razor sharp edge. We draw ten cards. <laughs> so getting rid of all our cards is actually good. All right, we silence you. Um, apply spell weakness to you. Get buffs on you. Get frostbite on you. Mm, that was the worst discard. <laughs> of course it was. So the multi strike. Anybody missing any health? No, you're not. Uh, we already used up the spell weakness, so I didn't do that the greatest. I think we are just already set on killing you by a large amount here. Okay, so you have spell weakness on you, so let's go ahead and just play that. Okay, the worst thing that this can discard is this. <laughs> so that's what it discarded. <laughs> All right, get wrecked. It's fine. Our deck is pretty big, so it's it's tough to get scaling, man. Um, okay, we can get more payoff. We could fit this guy. Uh, I don't think it's that good though. Um, this is not bad for encants. It's not bad for the discard payoff. Um, But drawing through our deck is a challenge right now because, you know, there's just so much junk in it. But I think I am going to take this. And Rooted is actually quite helpful against the last Divinity. I'm going to take that too. We have a lot of draw. All right, so I'm pretty sure I have to go here because if I don't duplicate, 15 plus put us at 90. If I don't duplicate, I don't think I fight the last divinity. I don't think going over here does anything, right? Removal doesn't do anything for shards. So we're just going to have a gigantic, gi ginormous deck here. That's quick. Let's see what's in here. Eunice minus two cost. Oh, Cuddlebeard is really good with her shard thing, actually. Unis cost minus two is not useful because we only have. Well, we still have two train stewards, actually. But still. I'm going to take that. I'm going to reroll. Plus five attack on me, which is pretty good. It's a free encant. There's a couple decent things there. Because we know we have to take this. Let's see what we get. Frozen cards reduced to zero. Uh, playing a spell deals two damage to random enemy unit. Champion gains plus 50% attack. That makes her 135. That's pretty good. So random extra damage. 
Because we are playing a lot of spells. Or just her having a lot more attack. Um, the only cards that are frozen are cards that already cost zero. So, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Random extra damage could get rid of damage shields. Not spell shields, though. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay. So I need 10 more shards. So if I duplicate you, I don't get shards. Did I never infuse anything into you? I didn't. Okay. 15. Um, I can duplicate, I think, this one too. That only gives me five, actually. Oh man, the only thing I can duplicate that gets me the chance to fight uh, <laughs> Divinity is Dante. So I guess that's what we're doing. Um, okay, I guess I'm doing this. Okay. I was honestly hoping I would get the thing that lets us add an extra uh, upgrade to a unit since we're on this floor. Because I can't, I can't put this on anything, right? Can't for armor spikes. You know, that's really good with Dante. So I'm going to take that. So I could go with removals or... Yeah, um, honestly, though, the problem is we, we get to the point where we start, we're drawing 10 every turn anyway. Stings doing more damage is not bad, because we have a lot of stings. We end up with a lot of stings, well, depending on how long these two characters live. I think maybe it is just better to remove some cards. Let's remove what? I never did upgrade either of those. Is it just the train stewards? Are those my worst cards? These are actually pretty darn good damage. I don't even know if I want to remove those. I guess I will just remove the train stewards, sure. I'll be able to remove a couple other things too, I think, or at least one other thing after this. It might only be one. Alright, do you want to remove one of these guys? I don't know that having two of those is worth. Um, do I want to remove the unupgraded focused growth? The healing's pretty nice, honestly. Healing is decent. We want all of our buff spells. We want the discard synergy for sure. The silences are good. It's either the heal or one of the big damage spells. I'm going to do that. All right, 50 gold. Can I do anything with that? Looks like only... Um, I can give you spikes and more health. And I can encant you for armor. Like, maybe you'll actually be able to do anything with that. But okay. Alright, let's see if we can win this challenge, man. Let's see if we can win it. So we enter with Sap 3. So it's the middle floor. Which might be the worst. That's okay. I'm going to play this because I just I need to get the shards going as quickly as possible. That's awesome. Okay. You take none, even though it won't encant you. I think I want to do this to just kill these 60 damage worth of guys here. I have Encant on this, so I'm going to do that, and then that. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get Frostbite on you, I guess. 
God, that sap is destroying Dante, man. That sap is just destroying Dante. Oh, okay, where do I put Dante? To put you up, I think I have to put you up here. Both die. Let's get you out. This will get you out. So 183. Well, we didn't get that many stings. I think we got one extra sting. Easy, man. Okay. <sighs> this is our carry floor. So, God, this guy doing 60 damage. I need to draw my heal. Uh, let's see. You go down to 30. See, so both will die, but that's a lot of damage to this. Maybe we'll get a chance to kill you. These guys are huge down here. Can I draw my heal, please? I didn't. Okay, I drew Glimmer. That's huge right there. You now live. Good. But you don't die. Okay. This does not do that much extra damage. There's no way. Actually, this this makes you die. Okay, good. Since he's quick, that's what we do. If I play this, I feel like I should save that. Okay, that's a good pick up there. This is great. I can do this. I guarantee that goes off. No silence I need there. Heal. How much damage do you do? Not nearly enough. 14 times 7. Whew, man. This is a tough one, man. 14 times 7. How much damage is that? Fourteen times seven. Seven B. Okay, that keeps us from leaking, that's good. Still wanna do twenty-four damage to them. Alright, well this Dante actually cleaning up is kind of saving us here right now. Okay. Set two. Dante just died. What did he die from? What did he actually... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he died from. Oh, my God. Well, this is bad. Okay, that kills you. The enemy killed Dante, then died to frost. Oh, I thought... Okay, I thought Dante was killing him himself. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I'm not buffing Dante quickly enough. 
you. That'll save you some health. And I'm hoping I win the one and two that this gets discarded. Wrecking hell. Okay, well, we're not dead. That's cool. Better kill you, I think. It's too much damage. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet. Do I have the targeted discard? I do. All right, so is sap or the damage and frostbite better? I don't think two sap is better than this. I think this is just better. 612 damage. That's good. Sap two. Oh, eight times four. Okay, that is pretty good. Um, if I were to do this, though, what's my likelihood of discarding it? It's pretty high. Oh, okay, 50-50 apparently. Okay, nice. 2607. Well... I hope I draw something that can kill you, because <laughs> this is looking bad. I think I do need to do a different clan combo. Can I draw anything that can kill you? Can I draw... I can't draw my big damaging spell. I can root you. Sadly, he's immune to that. I got Frostbite up to 502 if I had like one more turn. Oh man. Well, GG. <laughs> All right, I guess this clan combo is just not gonna work. I try. I thought using this boss or this champion would counter this uh, challenge, but. This clan combo just seems too rough. There's, there's just no damage in it. So, uh, all right, before I do another attempt, I'm going to take my first break of the day. Thank you all so much for watching. For those who are curious, this is the Brains Over Brawn challenge where their champion spawns with Sap 10 and Heartless. The um, version we did was supposed to kind of counter that, but the problem was our deck just didn't have any damage and we didn't get a good enough unit to scale, I guess. Too many extra cards... So anyway, uh, quick stand-up stretch break. When we come back, we'll do another attempt at this. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.